starting my series called Storytime. And it basically is just me talking about my experience that I've had with a particular company. So we will be starting off with Whitening Lightning. Now, I first heard of Whitening Lightning from Jaclyn Hill. She had been using their lip glosses in her tutorials and then she announced that she was actually releasing really one that she invented herself and it's called Rose Hill. And a couple of days later, not a couple of days later, like like a month and a half later, Whitening Lightning had a sale on them where you could buy their lip glosses for 14 bucks when they're normally 29. So I thought, cool, this is an opportunity for me to support my fellow YouTubers and Plus, I was really excited to check out the product because, you know, it has the light and it has the mirror. And there are some major cons with this company. <laughs> so I took advantage of the sale and ordered the Rose Hill lip gloss. And I was super excited because it came in the mail two days later. And I was like, yes, I love when my packages come early. What was unfortunate or what was... What threw me off about it is that first of all, it just came in a tiny little, tiny little orange envelope. And all that was inside was my lip gloss. This. There was no packaging on it. There was no receipt of my purchase, which I thought was weird because they have a 30 day money back guarantee. And it was like, well, how am I going to return this if I don't have an order number? or a receipt or a proof of purchase basically because I didn't receive an email that I had ordered this either. So that was weird to me. On top of the fact that the product itself was just messed up. There's a there's a crack in it and the mirror had no protection over it and so it's all scratched up. So every so you know, what's supposed to be attractive about this is that you look at it and you can do your lips and, you know, whatever, but there's all these scratches. And I was just like, you know, if I paid $29 for this, I would have been pissed. And I still was pissed because this is a high-end product and there's no packaging. There's nothing that tells me the ingredients. There's nothing that protects it from being scratched. There was no film over the mirror and it's cracked. Like, that was... What is that about? It's very upsetting. So... I wrote to the company, they told me they would send me out a replacement, and I was like, okay, we'll see if it's different, we'll see if they address the issue. So they told me that they sent out my package. I waited a couple of days, it hadn't come, I checked in, they told me it would take, it would take up to two weeks for it to come, and I was like, well, that's really weird because my first package came so fast, so why, the re why would the replacement take longer? And... So I waited the full two weeks, still hadn't come, called them again. And they were like, oh, your package should be arriving on Monday. And I was like, okay. Monday came and went, my package was still not there. I called again and they were like, oh, there's nothing in the system that says we've sent you out a replacement. And I was like, are you kidding me? Because I talked to two different people and they told me that not only was a system, like, was it in the system? but that they had sent a replacement and that it was on its way. And obviously they were looking at tracking, obviously they were looking at my account. So how can I call two times and they tell me my package is coming and then I call third time and oh, there's no, there's no record of your package being sent. Like that was really frustrating because how does that even happen? I don't get it. So they sent it, they sent me another replacement. <clears throat> and this one, same thing just in a yellow envelope, just had the lip gloss inside, no receipt, no proof of purchase, no return, like, like just nothing, just a here's your lip gloss. So this one was better, there's no crack in the cap, um, the mirror, the mirror was clean but I took the protective film off and now the mirror is ugly. The mirror is just not good quality which is like this is half the selling point of the lip gloss is that there's a mirror on it. So I don't know. I really don't get it. Um, and this doesn't have scratches, but it has like weird dents. And the reason I didn't call back is because it's like, 
I don't want to keep calling back and then keep getting sent replacement lip glosses. Like, I don't need five of these, you know? And I'm not trying to be picky. I'm not trying to be a difficult customer. But when you buy high-end makeup, you have expectations. And all I expect is my product to be in, you know, good as new. Which is what, like, putting this in a package would do. It would prevent that. But when you just toss it in an envelope and just send it through the mail, accidents are going to happen. So, yeah, that's really aggravating to me. And it's probably why I haven't ordered from them again. Yeah, and I know that they've changed their packaging again to straight up just Gerard Cosmetics and now it's gold. And I really don't like gold packaging. I think, I think gold packaging is gaudy. I don't own anything gold, and I won't. I don't care how good the product is. Like, that's just not me. Um, so those were the problems that I've had with Whitening Lightning. Like I said, their customer service was great, but the fact that I had to wait essentially a whole month for my replacement lip gloss was really aggravating. I mean, there's nothing more annoying than waiting for a package, let me tell you. So, there's that. Now, in terms of quality of product, you know, I, it does what everybody says. It's really opaque. It's basically a liquid lip gloss. I mean, obviously. A liquid lipstick and a gloss in one because you can wear this on its own and it is perfectly pigmented. Um, so, I really like that. It is sticky. It is tacky. Um, and it does have a smell, but it's not minty. I like minty smells, and I like like vanilla smells. I don't like, like berry smells. But this this smells like lemons. No, it's it's a, it smells like like pine salt lemons. And this smells like more berry-ish like strawberries. So those are my thoughts of the Whitening Lightning. Let me know if you've had a similar experience, if you felt the same way, if you had a completely opposite, if you are in love with their products. Um, let me know in the comments below. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.